Hi, this is Mazir from Rhino MZ channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to put the gemstones on surfaces or poly surfaces with gem on surface tool in Matrix 8 or Matrix 9. The first thing that you have to remember is don't forget to subscribe my channel to receive any other updates or notifications for the upcoming videos or any other changes. Okay. Uh, we're going to start and show you how to use that tool. The first thing that you have to remember is you need a surface or poly surface. At first, I'm going to draw a box. Put it over here. Going to the gems menu. There's an option here which is called gem on surface. This is our tool. You have to select your object. It could be a surface or poly surface. It doesn't matter. I choose my poly surface, import it to the tool, and you can see a gemstone will appear here and I can put it anywhere I want. I want to reset the tool. This is what you will face for the first time with the software. The first one is angle. Angle uh, in the round shape of the gemstone, it doesn't matter because it's a round gemstone, so it's not important to rotate it. There is not much serious thing for us. It's just a rotating option. Again, I will put it on zero. The second one is the vertical offset. Already it's on zero. If I will start to increase it, you can see it's going higher than my surface. If I will take it to the minus, you can see it's going inside and I cannot see it. If I will go on wireframe, you can see it's inside the box. It's a little bit exaggerated. I will put it on zero. Going on shaded mode. Um, if I want to talk more realistic, I have to put it on, for example, 0 0.05 maybe. 0 0.05. Reset. Imported. I'm going on vertical and 0 0.05. We can see it will coming a little bit higher or maybe 0.1. That's it. Again, I will put it on zero. Another option, which is a scale. The scale is the size of our gemstone. You can use this uh, useful tool here, but it's not easy to control it. I will reset it and I will show you another way. I'm going on a scale and I can use two shortcut key. Uh, first one is Q and second one is E. Both of them on your keyboard. If you tap on the E, each tap start to increase the size. If you tap on Q, each tap start to decrease the size. For example, I want to put it on 1.4. And you can start setting your gemstone and you can see the, diff the distance between your stones it could be more useful uh, when you are working on some special designs or you want to do something different and don't use lines you can use this tool and for spacing uh, you can add minimum or maximum spacing but usually if we want to do this, we're using another tools, which is called uh, uh, Gemon Curve or other options or other tools. Uh, usually we are not using this option in this tool. Um, but I want to show you another way how to use this tool. Uh, for example, if you have a curve here or line or something and you want to put it manually on that curve, uh, you can draw it first. Uh, for example, I would go in here and select the interpolate on surface. It's an interpolated curve on a surface. You have to choose your surface and start to draw. Uh, you can draw it from any other tools and you can find it uh, with other ways. It doesn't matter. It's just an example. And let's go and start. I choose the surface, import it here. And the gemstone will appear. I will turn on the near snap and going on the curve, and you can see it's moving on the curve. 
let me change the color to make it more visible let's go back to the uh, lesson import it again bring the gemstone and start clicking on the curve just don't forget check it will be always on the near to keep it on the line if you coming on surface it's a different way it's another way so don't forget that and you can do something just play with the q and e to resize it to use different gemstones here this tool could be more useful if you use it like this it's just good for the manual setting of gemstone for your special designs or for special situations at the edges of your design or whatever i don't know in the future you will face with but for solving the problem this tool is really really useful okay this is the gem on surface tool in matrix 8 or 9 i hope it will be useful for you if you have any other question please don't forget to write it in the comments for me i will reply to you as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos this is mazir from rhino mz thanks for watching